Alrighty guys, welcome to 2021 Alaska Caribou up the Dalton Highway, up the Hall Road, up over Attigan Pass. We're gonna go chase caribou again. We got Travis who brought his bow. Hoping to take one with the bow, but if he doesn't get the opportunity, he'll use my rifle. And then I've got obviously my rifle and Hunter's got his. So picked up the truck yesterday, a bit of a snafu there. I got a confirmation that we booked it and when I showed up they did not have a confirmation so luckily they still had a truck available and they gave us a discount for the uh, issue we were supposed to pick it up at 2 o'clock in the morning but because they didn't receive the confirmation they didn't have it so uh, we had to sit around the airport until 9 o'clock this morning before we got it so a bit of a late start we picked up our tags which there were five I think caribou tags left where we picked them up no wolf tags ended up going to three other places finally got a wolf tag of course I could put my caribou tag on the wolf but I'd rather get one of each so hopefully I don't know we'll see I had a wolf tag last time we were up here we saw six I believe but none of them in an area that I could shoot so hopefully this year fingers crossed we can get a wolf. Picked up a bunch of canisters from Travis's buddy. Uh, he used to go to school with and moved up here. Super nice guy. Uh, he gave us a bunch of gas cans and stuff, so we just got those filled up. And we're about to hit the road and head up there. So, we'll see you up top. We just resituated everything in our packs, turning it from luggage to actually ready to hunt. And my wind checker appears to have released, and it's, you can't see it, but it shot all into the binoculars, so. <laughs> Whoopsies. Well, Travi, what do you think so far? Ready. Ready to see some, some animals. We're in the middle of nowhere. Whole lot of nothing down here. You ready for this hunt? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're out there somewhere. somewhere. Come here, little Where fella. Tundra. Oh, we're gonna take off and go see if we can't find some caribou either close to the road for Travis to go after with the bow or find a spot we think we can get five miles out and head on out. Old musk ox. Pretty awesome. Remember that episode of Alone? That guy who stabbed that musk ox? Yeah. Watch this. Bare hands.
That appears to be a bit of a fail. There he goes. Bye, Felicia. Well, I think we finally decided on where we were going to try to get five, five miles back in, but we just came across five caribou that Travis is putting a stock on now, so go try to go. They don't like Travis. Alrighty, well the decision's been made. We're heading out for five miles. There we go. Adawe. So, hopefully we run into some caribou. Kind of winging it, but it is what it is. Never know until you try. Huh. Leftovers. Dandy. Yeah, the tops on Mercury. Well, good evening, everybody. We stopped on kind of a glassing knob, and we're glassing all along out there. Um, picked up a few, not as many as we were hoping for, obviously, but picked up some. So we're gonna camp here. We got this. Jiminy Christmas, what am I doing? This simmer on here that we're gonna stuff all of our just gear in. We got that simmer on there that we're gonna sleep in. And then Hunter's got his spiffy little electric bear fence that he's setting up right now. So I haven't seen any sign of bear, but we took it out of here, so might as well use it, I guess. But yeah, so the plan for the morning, we'll get up, get back up on top of the knob, glass, See if we can't see anything we want to go after and then uh, continue out to the five mile mark and hunt from there. But we're going to eat some peak refuels and hit the sack. Travis, first day thoughts? Good times. Tundra is a lot harder to walk through than I had anticipated. <laughs> but it was good. Saw a bunch of animals, put a couple of stocks closer to the road one on a monster monster bowl unfortunately that didn't work out but yeah we've seen some action had some opportunities and day one's in the books yeah buddy what wisdom do you have for us hunter uh set up camp before it gets dark <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is day two of the hunt. We are back in here a ways. The other guys ran up there. They're glassing right now. I'm just getting stuff situated back here at camp. Stayed nice and warm last night, but outside of the tents did not. It's nice and frosty this morning, so I'm gonna head up there with those guys. And Try to pick up some caribou. Sounds like Hunter's seen a few, but we'll go see what we can find. All right, guys, we've come up with a plan. 
found the three little bulls back there from yesterday. A couple little ones over there. But there's two decent ones way out there. They're working their way this way, so we're gonna pack up camp, come back up to the glassing knob, verify that they're still here, get a probably coordinate marked on the uh, compass, and then maybe drop a pin on Onyx where roughly where we think they are, and then head out after them and try to meet them out there somewhere. But obviously. It's a long ways away, and they could do a lot of things in that time, so we shall see. Got him. Nice job, man. Woo. Don't get too, don't get too crazy. I need to go make sure Hunter's down. <laughs> You're suffering, Cameron. Right there. Reload those. Oh. So fast. No. 
killed him, man. Perfect dude. shot. Awesome job, dude. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful shot. Let's go see the other one, huh? That's a big animal. We get to pack them out, too. <laughs> oh, boy. Freshly rubbed. Yeah. When I saw him on the hill, I think just the red stood out so much. Yeah. I thought he was a bit bigger. But nice job. Cool. That's all points at top, man. Go see yours now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like sawtooth right yep. there. There's nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. That's cool. Dude. <laughs> yeah, look at those back scratchers, dude. Dude. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> this is so awesome. Look at this thing. Any day. Super cool. That is super cool. I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that one. Yeah, what are the odds that that worked out? Well, the other one said they're just long enough for Travis to pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be laughing like this. No, not. Four miles from here. We still have a mile to go. The, the colors on there. Yeah, that's awesome. Super pretty. Well, I think I know where we're spending the night tonight. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> we got water. You want to do shoulder mount? If you want it. Yeah. I don't think I'm coming up here too often, so. <laughs> Dude, I shot a flipping caribou, man. Looks a little bigger than I remember him being. Well, guys, good news and bad news. Good news. One bull, and there's another one back there. Two bulls down. There are two bulls in this herd that we, herd group that we were coming after. And uh, yeah, got out here and managed to get both of them. So that's awesome. Bad news is we have to pack them out over five miles because off the Dalton Hall Highway, you gotta come five miles before you can shoot a rifle. So it's gonna be Quite the fun time packing them both back out of here. What you got there? 2021 caribou. 2021. Are you sure that's where you want it? Where it is. And she's locked. Locked on. Congratulations, man. Good, so. Cool. Thank you. <clears throat> Caribou 2021. Done deal. Ta -da. Now the work begins. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Hunter's cutting the animal, and I was tasked with acquiring water. I know the water doesn't look delicious, but here's what we got. 
You got these Seanock Outdoors 3 liter bag. And then the orange one is the Dirty. Then we got a Sawyer Squeeze. Going into another 3 liter Seanock bag. Blue, I'll use the blue one as clean water, even though it doesn't look clean. Usually hanging in the tree, but when there's no trees, you hang on your tripod. Easy way to get water. Alright, so the animals have all been cut up, the meat has been acquired. We're just about all loaded up on the packs. my pack with a little bit of Hunter's meat, a little bit of Travis's meat. Got, I'm not sure what's going on here, so how Hunter's going to make that work. Pack, he's got the head, he's got a bag, and you got Travis. <laughs> we got Travis. <laughs> and, then, and then there's me. <laughs> Bag weighs more than I do. <laughs> Pretty sure he's mortified. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, a little terrified about what's about to happen. It's going, I'm gonna cry. He's got his bag all ready to go and his bow. Should lift both trip. And we got somewhere near six miles to go. But all I, right. We might shoot for the midway point camp where we camped last night, not sure. Somebody might get a wild hair and want to shoot for the truck. <laughs> I don't even know if we're going to make it halfway. All right, there's Hunter all loaded up, including oh. carrying your bag. Yeah. And we got old Travio <laughs> loaded up. Yeah, loaded, ready. The roll. <laughs> and I am loaded, but you can't tell. It's <laughs> one step in front of the other. Hey, holding up, Travi. We're we're doing stuff. By far the hardest pack out I've ever experienced before in my life, and it's just the beginning. A little bit of sweat equity. A little bit. That's better. We got somewhere between a half and three quarters of a mile to go to get to camp. <laughs> get some well-deserved rest. And then we got another three miles tomorrow. Olsen. Oh, Bertha. <laughs> that could have been Ben. Uh, but he survived. It's definitely starting to get darker. I just nabbed. Three liters of dirty water after filling up all of my uh, water bottles, my Nalgene and my one liter. So I got that, and then we got the three liters of dirty. When we get up to our camp spot, I'll do what I did earlier today while they were cutting up the caribou and just run it through the Sawyer, hanging off the tripod. But those guys are just about up to our camping spot.
right there. They're just going right to that little shelf right there, so. We survived our second night out here. Got a little bit of condensation in the tents, but part of the game. So we're getting everything loaded back up. Bit foggy, much windier than the other days, so a little colder. So we're gonna break down camp, load up the packs, and grind out the last three and a half miles. We are off like a herd of turtles. Onward. What would Chase say in a time like this? Embrace the suck. <laughs> Chase took off over there, the caribou circled all the way around him, came back behind us, and almost did a complete circle. They look pretty close. <laughs> Dude. The three bulls came across like they came to came to 88 yards. And like if I didn't have a rangefinder, it felt like they were within 60. Yeah. But I was using the rangefinder and so like your rangefinder when you click it, crosshairs disappear. And then it'd pop up a random number. Huh. Seems super weird. Um so there were 60? Oh. They, they felt like they were within felt 60. Like 60. Gotcha. They, looked like they looked like they were but within the, 60. But the range finder was telling me 88. Huh. Well, I know but you. Yeah. You just wanted to shoot a bigger bull. That's <laughs> Busted. You caught me. <laughs> All right, guys. Things escalated very quickly. Um, on our way back to the truck here with Travis and my bull, we ended up having this other bull um, come by. We're about two miles from the truck, and uh, Chase grabbed the bow, moved over in front of it, and it came by him. I don't know how far it was, but he got a shot, and uh, he hit it really far back, and now it's going up and over the hill. <clears throat> you can see blood running down the leg, but um, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. And Travis and I are just going to sit here with our caribou and wait and see if he comes back or what. But Chase is still following the thing, so we'll see. Alright, so we just got a inner reach message from Chase saying that uh, he got the bull. He's two miles away, up and over that hill. And uh, so Travis and I are trying to figure out what to do, but we decided, since Chase has absolutely nothing with him, uh, uh, except for his bow, is we are gonna take his pack, Travis's pack, uh, our sleeping bags, a tent, 
and headlamps and head that way because it's three hours till dark and he's two miles away with nothing so anyways um took all chase's stuff out threw it on the ground here except for what he needs for tonight put some trekking poles up between the meat got that antler sitting on that meat so that uh, if something comes in and messes with it tonight we can um we can see it tomorrow and then got the my rifle uh, some binoculars, spotting scope, my pack. We're just going to leave all that. I'm going to take Chase's pack and Chase's rifle and then his stuff. So anyways, uh, got to go up and over that hill and hopefully we can find him. He says he's northwest of where we're at. So we'll head that way. That guy Hi. decided to whack a caribou with the bow about two miles from the truck and it wasn't a great hit and it took off but chase what'd you do well that is bright uh i kept following it I was kind of pushing it but it was bleeding pretty good so i wanted it to keep bleeding crested over the top of this hill figured once it got to the top of the hill that i would uh sit and watch it and as I, where is it? <laughs> and it's now right here. Oh, he's already been, he's already been hard at it. That's a monster chase. It's insane. Well, Trav, what did you think of the Northern Lights last night? One of the coolest things I've ever seen before in my life. <laughs> like the whole sky. We woke up at what, like 1:30? 1:30. One the whole sky was just dancing. I mean, it was crazy. Over this way, it was just like a huge just like half moon circle of just waves. It was pretty cool. Brightness. It was awesome. It was worth the get up. Definitely worth <laughs> the get up. And we got a long day ahead. So we're getting closer to the road, which means closer to the truck. Which means closer to food. Which means closer to food. I can't wait for a Coke. That's going to be delicious. What about Hunter? I'm thinking nachos. I just feel weird eating it for breakfast. But I'm a grown man. Now I'm in Alaska, so who cares? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. What about you, Trev? Oh, uh, I think I'm gonna go with some pop tarts and some meat sticks. Yeah, there you go. Yes, sir. Meat sticks. We did it. We got my bull back to the road. Thanks to that fella, oh. and that fella. Hey guys. You guys are the best. Thank you for helping me. Oh. In turn, I shall help you. We didn't do nothing. Nothing at all. This is all you. Easy day. <laughs> Easy day. This is another word, walk in the park, huh? Easy day, bud. Your hat may say otherwise. Easy day. That sucker off of you, oh. <laughs> Freedom! Oh, I feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> nice Appreciate job, it, brother. Nice job. Go do it again. We have to. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> no choice. With twice as many animals. But no camp. No True. camp. No camp, no bow. I love you, but you're staying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we got my bull all loaded up. Got all the packs resituated. Yes. There's nothing in them. Going in light. Look at that. <laughs> going in super light. <laughs> it feels amazing. Yeah, going in light, coming out heavy. Got to love it. So I guess we got another three to four miles of fun tussock tromping. And uh, yeah, we'll go grab their bulls and come on out. Let's do it. No squirrels to chase, so hopefully we can do it in a decent amount of time. We're getting closer to the the meat, our stash. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any bears on it, but that doesn't mean there isn't one bedded in this thick brush off to the side, so definitely going to have to keep the heads on a swivel. What'd you guys do? Well, we put trekking poles up next to the meat. And then put one of the sheds that we or put a shed up on one of the trunks of meat too. So 
we can see if those have been moved. <clears throat> if they haven't, it looks like they haven't been moved. That's pretty good. But let's roll. Let's go get them. Hunter has got to be the world's most graceful tundra walker in the history of people. It is unbelievable. There is no keeping up with the man. Brutal. Nope, no keeping up with him. Uh, he's one step away from a caribou. Pretty much. Man, cover. It's not that easy, folks. People say, five miles, oh, that's nothing. This stuff is brutal. Constantly off balance. Constantly trying to roll your ankles. If you step on the tussock, it rolls. If you step between them, you're in water or you still roll. It's a very brutal five miles, y'all. All right, guys, we made it. We were back at the stash of Hunter and Travis's stuff and their animals and all of my hodgepodge of gear that got ditched here. Nothing touched it. And nothing touched it. Thank goodness. So we'll load everything up. I tail it out of here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are so many bugs. Luckily, I brought this mosquito net, head net, because I can breathe. Travis, on the other hand, not so much. <laughs> Improvise. <laughs> Make the best of what you got. Adapt and overcome. <laughs> well, we're all loaded up now. We've got. Some of Travis's meat, some of Hunter's meat, and then Hunter's bowl. bowl. Since I didn't have to take as much stuff back from the truck, we ditched a bunch there. Take a little extra so Hunter doesn't have to have it ride on his shoulders. Travis is all loaded up again, got the rest of his Milk. meat, the bowl, some of my stuff like the tripod, and then Hunter's yeah. got his big old shed and his meat. So So we're where we are where we were about twenty four hours ago. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly one day later, and here we are, yeah, same we're spot. Here. We were going to be back at the truck in a couple hours. 24 hours later, we're Finally still trying to get back to the truck. Trying to get <laughs> All right, out. Here we go. We're so close. That's right there. Sweet victory. We did it. We made it back to the truck. We tallied it up. And it ended up being a total of 18 miles across the tundra. So worth it. But so much work. What are your thoughts, huh? I think I'm so tired. My beard quit growing. <laughs> uh, you know what? All that work. 18 miles as the crow flies in four days. I wouldn't trade it. Makes two of us. What about you, Trav? Thoughts? Hardest hunt I've ever been on in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down. But definitely the most rewarding. This thing is going to be an absolute memory on the wall and it's going to feed the family and I'm going to enjoy every little bit of it. God has blessed us with a good trip. Absolutely. Sure Absolutely. Did. Well, we're going to break everything down, get situated again. I think the plan is to run up to Dead Horse. Uh, and then I think Hunter's gonna cape the heads and tomorrow we'll head for Coldfoot and then on south. So, good times. You guys are acting like you did something. Feel like it. <laughs> did enough to lay in the middle of the Dalton Highway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get run over. Wrapping up another Alaska DIY caribou hunt was a conclusion of years worth of daydreams for the three of us. We had even gone as far as to complete a marathon together prior to this hunt, 
And with each of us knowing the other guys had the mindset and the stamina to never give up, especially when the buckles start breaking under the pressure of a full pack, all this added to the peace of mind that is so comforting when you rely so heavily on your hunting partners in situations like we ended up in.